How cool is that? Another beautiful little baby tarpon. That is a nice mangrove right there. And just like that. That is sweet. Check that out. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Charles Gonzalez. I'm here with my buddy Sean today. What's going on guys? We're gonna, we're gonna do a fun little video today of uh, pond hopping in the Keys. Throughout the Keys, there's a bunch of different either landlocked ponds or brackish water ponds that we wanna try out. We've heard anything from mangrove snapper, tarpon, snook, um, some by land, some on kayak. We're gonna, we're gonna kinda try it all. But yeah, we're gonna hop around and see what we can do. When you think of the Keys, most of the time you probably think you're out on the boat, on the reefs or something, but there is a lot of land-based fishing that it has to offer too. But there's always different options of what you can fish for on a day when it's rough and you can't go out. And this week has been kinda overcast and ugly, um, so the fishing hasn't been great. Um, so it's nice to have the option to do something like this on those days. All right guys, we just got here to the Keys house. Coming to pick up some stuff. We got our kayaks here. One of the spots we're gonna need a kayak to get in there and kind of paddle around and see if we can catch anything, but the other spots we'll be able to access just by land. But we've got the kayaks in the truck and we're coming in the garage here to get the last couple things that we need. But today, funny enough, today of all days when we decide to do a pond hopping video, Turns out to be a beautiful day out here in the Keys. That's about as flat calm as it gets. So of course the day that we do a, a pond hopping video and go on the kayak, it's flat calm out. So that's just how it goes sometimes though, but we're still gonna do it. We're gonna get after it and hopefully it's worth the, uh, worth the lay day that we're taking, not going on the boat. So we'll see. We're here in the sacrum room now. We're gonna pick up some rods. We definitely need some paddles for the kayaks because won't be going far without those and uh, just some miscellaneous tackle that we might need. So we're going to come pick all that up right now and start heading out. Alright guys, let me show you the setup today. We got our 4000 reel on our star rod, our pen clash, and we have a little bit of 15 pound mono, and we have our one aught owner J hook there, a little shrimp, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to catch one of these snapper knock on wood, hopefully. Uh, what I'm gonna do first though is get him fired up and shake the chum bag, and down he goes. Not for long. Oh, got smoked. Got that's a good one. Oh, you better get him out. Oh, no. There we go. Got him out. That's a fatty. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a hoss. Charles got a big one. I got a little Check this guy out. That's a nice mangrove right there. He's got other line on him. Look at that. Yeah, that. Someone else's line was on him. Nice job. That hook right there, corner of the mouth. Perfect. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice one right here. Oh, man. Dude, that is a nice one. Probably, I, I don't know if yours was bigger or this guy might be a hair bigger, but. He's definitely fatter, I'll man, tell you that. check out the girth of that mangrove. He's got a full, full belly. He's probably been eating all that bait we've been dropping down, but that's what we came for. But like I said, it's all catch and release here, which is a good thing. That's why you're able to catch these nice snapper. And on a day like today, not much to do. This isn't a bad option when you have nothing to do in the Keys. Come down and catch a bunch of big snapper like this. One of my favorite things to do, but we're gonna get this guy back in the water on his way. I'm telling you, I'm not leaving until I catch him. You gotta catch him. We're out here we're still in search for that one big one. I just caught my biggest one. So uh, Sean's trying to get that big one, and then we're gonna head to the next spot. And I'm gonna show try you Try different areas. I'm gonna get that big one. He's, he's gonna get him. I mean, he's, really he's committed. I could do this all day, but I do wanna try some new areas and some new spots and uh, see what we can get going for the rest of the day. So Sean's gonna keep trying to catch this one, but sooner or later I'm gonna have to make him leave. We're gonna go to the next spot, so. 
we will see you in the next spot then. All right, it's a tad bit swampy in here, but I'm following Sean, so if he slips and falls, then I know where not to walk. Oh, so I'm the, the test subject? Yeah, he's the test subject. I've, he's never been here before, so it we'll let him. It doesn't that my Crocs don't have grip. I just want you to have a thorough experience of what this is like. Yeah? I'm in flip-flops, man. Look at the mud's going on my toes and crap. I have no grip on these things. You gotta put those Crocs in sport mode. I don't know. Should I turn on the little light with the Crocs too? Yeah, you gotta turn... Put those in sport mode real quick. Man, now if I fall, now, I'm really secure to fall. Now you're ready. I hope you get it if I Oh, it's, it's pretty swampy up here. That's, that's the stuff right there. Uh-huh. Yep, no way to avoid it. Could have brought boots, but that defeats the whole point. We're out here in the wilderness making it happen surprisingly knock on wood i don't want to even jinx it but there's not many mosquitoes i haven't felt any yet but with all this standing water and mangroves it's usually a recipe for disaster with those guys but seems to be all right right now so we're almost here to the spot right now so i'll see you in a second Got him, guys. Check that out. Little, little guy. Oh, How cool is that? He almost looks like a ladyfish. A little baby freshwater pond tarpon. That is just super, super cool. These guys grow up and get huge. I've caught them. 180 pounds 200 pounds but to catch them when they're this small is just such a treat to see how they fight and how they act and he still jumped like a regular sized tarpon and everything super cool we're gonna get this guy back in the water though um and get him released i can do his little home here but let's try and get some more you ever caught a tarpon this small before um yes smaller actually really yeah that's pretty small are you sure there's no gators in here yeah, there's no gators in here. Only crocodiles. <laughs> Loch Ness monster. Let's see if they pick it up. It's crazy how a little puddle of water almost just like this could have tarpon in it. Like, where do these guys come from? How do they survive? I mean, there's little bait fish. When we were walking through the puddles on the way here, there was little bait fish and stuff. There is all this water behind us, like little puddles and stuff. Maybe during keen tide, all these tarpon push in through this mangrove and stuff, and they just get stuck here waiting for the next keen tide to come. And then they're gonna swim back out and grow up to be 100 pounders, 150 pounders. That is true because I've been here a few times and I've never caught one bigger than that one I just caught. They're all usually about the same size. So maybe he has a theory to that when the high tides come in and those king tides really get um, water moving through here that these puddles and stuff that we were just walking through rise up and all the fish go swimming through them. I think I captured that. And Sean just got stuck. We're gonna try and get Sean on his right now and see how many more we can get out of this little spot though. That's so much fun. I, this is one of my favorite things to do. Little snook and tarpon in this kind of water and these little tiny ponds are just so much fun. Started the morning off with the mangrove snapper and now we're moving here to catch tarpon. Maybe later we'll get the snook. I don't know if that's like some sort of pond hopper slam or something. I think I, it's gonna be a I new think, Florida I think we're gonna go with that, the pond hopper slam, but we're gonna see if we can get that. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a couple more tarpon here. <laughs> get him. Oh, it's not a bass, man. It. That thing's tiny. You set the hook like a bass. Come on now. What am I supposed to do? Reel All right, Bill Dance. Sorry. <laughs> Guys, 0 for 2. I'm going to have to jump back in already. Come on. I don't. Oh, it was a snapper. No way. Was it? No, it was a tarpon. Dude, there's no, no snapper in here. What? Hold on. He's headless. He ate the head off. No way. Yeah, why not? Catch him this time. Let's go. You're making me nervous. I've yeah, never you're performed. making me nervous. I, I'm standing here watching you miss well, all these fish. I'm I about to hop back in. I performed in front of an audience before, and you're making me very nervous. You know, get used to it. I have one. I have one. Get him, Charles. Yes. Oh, oh he's bigger. Check that out, guys. How cool is that? Another beautiful little baby tarpon. That is just too cool. Check that out. Nothing like it. Being able to find these guys here from this size up to 
two, 250 pounds in the Florida Keys. One of the coolest sport fish there is. And he's obviously very acrobatic today, but very, very cool. We're gonna get this guy back in the water, but. Yeah, hurry up, I need to get one. Yeah, Sean, I'm schooling Sean. I mean, I don't mean to, but I can't say it enough. This is just one of my favorite things to do out here in the Keys. Um, totally different than what you would normally think the Florida Keys, typical day in the Florida Keys would be. Um, and I think that's why I like it so much. All, some of my favorite things are just those different kinds of methods of fishing that no one really does. Not every day is glamorous going out on the big contender and taking the Pathfinder to Flamingo. Some days are just more chill and you got a backpack and a fishing rod and you gotta figure it out. And this is one of those places that will teach you patience for sure. It's not a every cast kind of thing like the first spot with the mangroves that we went to, but it's definitely super rewarding, especially after you walk all the way out here and you get to this little secluded area. It's it's really cool. Time to throw the kayaks in and see if we can get anything done with that. That would be pretty cool uh, to cap off the day, but already it's just been such an awesome day from the mangrove snapper to the micro tarpon. Everything's just been super cool. So we'll see how the next spot treats us and uh, we'll see you there. All right, guys, just got to the new spot here. We're going to set up uh, this spot. You can walk around it. It's a, a little bit bigger lake. You can walk around it, but I like throwing in the kayak because you get more areas that you can fish that you can't reach um, just from shore. We're going to throw in the old kayak here, get her going. It's been a while since I've done any kayak fishing, honestly, but something different, man. Like we're doing something different today, trying new stuff out. So might as well go on the kayak and see what we can get, but hopefully it's good. I'm going to leave the camera here. I'm actually going to be filming on the, the little Osmo right now too. So, so we'll see you out there. All right. So we've got the kayak out, got our paddle here, rod tackle ready to go just got to make it down this little ledge here which is easier said than none still not in all the way yet still got a little bit of finesse left try not to bust my butt all right guys so definitely <laughs> like I said definitely a different change of pace today Kayak fishing is not something I typically do, um, but I do enjoy it a lot. We have these kayaks that kind of just sit at our house throughout the year. We used to paddleboard and kayak a lot, um, but we kind of just grew out of it. Um, we'll see how the fishing goes. I mean, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm looking around. It looks good, nice and sunny, not too windy. We're not getting blown around on the on the kayaks too much, so looking good. So let's see what we can get. My setup here is a little 1,000 Stratic some eight pound braid and some 10 pound fluorocarbon leader and i got a little white paddle tail um, just to skip up under these mangroves and see if we can pull something out we actually just saw some people fishing in here right when we got here so sometimes that's a good sign sometimes it's not who knows we'll see all right guys i just saw a nice splash in this little cove right here looks like a little snook popping so i'm gonna see if i can get my bait up to him Maybe get them to eat. Right up there. Back up a little bit. Oh! Oh, I just had a tarpon hit. Guys, that was a nice tarpon. I'd like to get it up under there, it would be nice. There we go. That's what I needed. All right, come on. That's got to be a little fish. And just like that. Nice little tarpon. He's even a little bigger than that one we caught at the last area. I'm going to give him some slack here. He's not huge, but you see how even him can pull around the kayak just like that. That is too cool. Check that out. He's right here next to us. You get a leader touch. Oh, I don't think he's ready yet. Now he is. Come here, buddy. And like that. Nice little tarpon. That is pretty darn cool. Being able to just throw in a kayak, come out here with a little paddle tail and catch one of the guys like that, he inhaled that that little swim bait but super cool being able to catch these guys if you told me i didn't have a boat i didn't have access to going out offshore or going into the back country but i could still catch one of these guys i'd 
probably tell you you're crazy, but it's true. Out here in the Keys, you just do have a lot of really cool options to be able to come and get fish like this. So This guy's even a little bigger than the last ones we caught, so I'm gonna get him back in the water. I think there's some snook hiding in here still. I've seen a couple rolls of these guys, but let's see what else we can do. Keep it going, but that, my friends, is very, very cool. Sweet. All right, guys, we just hooked up again. Something different this time, it looks like. Oh, another tarpon, nice tarpon too. Dude, come on, man. That is sweet. Check that out. Yo, can you film again on your phone? He's dragging me into the mangroves there. Woo. All right. Whoa. He's feisty. This one is feisty. Oh, wow, and just like that, guys, I messed that one up. Like I said, I'm not the best kayak fisherman, but luckily I was able to catch that guy. I feel bad, I hope he shakes that hook out, but he broke off right there at the boat, or at the knot. But hey, that's what it's about. First cast after I caught the last one. Sean's over here, probably not very happy with me right now, but that's okay. And I'm gonna need to go back over to him because I need another bait. I'm gonna hook him right now. That's uh, he's going back to where I just hooked on. That's fine. That's fine. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, you, you really don't want me to fish that bad? You're trying to take my rod? This is your rod, by the way. I don't, that thing went flying in. That's on you. I ain't taking credit for that. Got another one. Just like that, guys. Another nice tarpon. Heck yeah. Sean, can you try and film? Another nice tarpon, guys. Can't believe it. It's just been really hot back here, honestly. More than I was expecting, which is always a good thing. You catch more than you think you'll catch. But it is just a good time. Oh! Man, I am the Tarpon Whisperer. I really think I am. That's, what's that, number five today? I, I don't know if you can count that as legal. I didn't get a leader touch on him, but. All right, guys, so we just finished up. Did pretty good here at this Tarpon spot. Got a couple nice little Tarpon. Didn't get the snook we were looking for, but that's okay. Um, just cool to be able to come out here on the kayaks, do something completely different. You don't need a whole lot of supplies. Little paddle board, you can walk if you want to. Just bring your fishing pole and have a good time and that's what we did today and uh, just couldn't be more excited with how it turned out. We got a really successful day of just different kind of fish. We got the mangrove snapper, we got the tarpon. Um, just all around fun day. Couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, we're gonna start heading in now but it's just been an awesome day. So pack up these kayaks and get them back in the truck and start making our way home. We are back in business. All right, guys, what a just awesome day we had. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time, to show at least, is the pond hopping down here because I'm sure that's probably one of the last things people think of when they think of the Florida Keys. They think reefs, they think, you know, ocean side, they think bay side, but they never really think these small little ponds that run throughout the Keys with all this brackish water that comes from the tides in different areas. And there's fish in them, which is really cool to Really cool to see, so I've, I've been wanting to show this for a while, so I'm glad we finally got out to do it. Had the help of my buddy Sean, he had one or two spots that he showed us today, and uh, we helped each other out, film a little video. Win-win for everybody. Awesome day, bunch of tarpon, tons of mangrove snapper this morning, just super cool variety, so couldn't ask for anything better. Thank you guys for tuning in and keeping up with all the videos. It's been awesome making them for you guys, like I said, we have a ton of new ideas and stuff coming up. Um, but can't wait to show you guys all that in the next video. So till then, I'll see you next time.